We are a little tired. Yeah. Yeah, we waiting <laughs> for it's time. You got to make the delivery of the sentences. <laughs> all right, welcome back to Catting and Chatting, all of you hookers out there. Today we're gonna to be going over one of Jay's surf rods. That's uh, the Akuma rod. And what model is this one? This is the Akuma Longitude uh, nine footer spinning rod. Amazon purchase and one of my best Amazon purchases to date. How much did it cost? This was roughly around 60 bucks, I think. For the rod and the reel? Just the rod. Just the rod. Just the rod. This is uh before I bought the Cast King rod, this was the most expensive rod I ever purchased. This was kind of a early birthday gift to myself that year. This has been uh three years now three seasons i've put this rod through and i gotta say uh damn good rod i can get some damn good distance out of this thing for being a nine foot surf rod um <laughs> many well, of the boaters at our local lakes can attest <laughs> to the fact that he's a good shot with that thing i've noticed that um it has the same kind of handle same cork handle as, as the, the cast, cast king does it feel the same? Yeah. Same good feel. Um, I think it's a little rougher texture. Not by much. I mean, if you were like comparing like 220 to 320 grit sandpaper, like it's it's still smooth. Feels good in the handle or in the hand, should I say? Yeah. Well, it doesn't feel good in the hand. Um, <laughs> ha -ha. Uh. Um but yeah, it's a nine foot rod. It's gonna be kind of hard to show the whole thing. It's got a good long handle on it for getting that distance casting. And um, what reel do you have on here? This reel is the Cast King. Like I said before in other videos, I'm a big fan of Cast King. They make some good budget uh, tackle and uh, I guess you'd say hardware, your rods and reels. Um, this is a Cast King Pontus. Let's see if I can spin that spool around there. Yeah, the Pontus 4000. Bought the rod and the reel. Uh, same time on Amazon. Planned on pairing them together. Uh, this is a bait feeder reel. This is popular for the... Uh, like the bait and run reel? Yeah, bait and run reel. This is real popular overseas in England with the uh, carp fishermen. And it's starting to catch on here in the States, actually, for some catfishing guys that... Uh, prefer spinning reels as I would say this is the equivalent of a spinning reel that works like a bait caster because it has the uh, bait running option which is works kind of like a bait clicker how on, do you do that on a uh, bait caster um, it's got a two drag system on it it's got your top main drag which is when everything is engaged you know normal drag and it's not that loud but that's not the one you want to listen for that's your fighting drag on this reel you got your little switch here at the bottom you disengage this and you have your uh, spool tension on the bottom for your uh, bait running tension you flip this up once you get casted out and set and what this does is you can pull the line out easily. It's like a clicker on a bait caster. And it's a little louder. And you can adjust the tension. Like, it goes pretty tight. Where it takes well, you a significant use that amount. when you are on the Ohio. Yeah. And, I mean, you were in... I mean, right there at the current. You were just shy of the current, just sitting there. And we and, could still hear it. Yeah. And you couldn't... It wouldn't... Pulling with the current, it just stayed right where it was. But, uh... That's the cool thing is if you are fishing in current, you can tighten this up and adjust it to where just where the current don't take line anymore. But if you're on a lake or whatever, you can loosen this thing all the way up, which I wouldn't suggest all the way, but and it barely, I mean, just the slightest touch pulls line off that thing. Boat wake pulls. Boat wake, yeah, you got to watch that. You got to tighten these up a little bit for boat wake. <laughs> Um, we, we have personal experience with the boat wake pulling that. <laughs> Got our hopes up a few times about it. Uh, the cool thing is, is once a fish starts running with your line, 
All you got to do, well, you can either flip the switch down yourself or just pick your rod up and automatically start cranking the reel and it engages itself and then goes to the fighting drag, which takes a pretty good amount of force to pull off. Uh, like I said, third year I've been using this reel. I absolutely love it. It's a 4,000 size, perfect for catfishing. Uh, again, I've got it spooled up with Cast King Braid, but this is uh, actually a 50-pound mono, monofilament leader from Cast King. I bought a spool just to try it out of their uh, monofilament leader material, and this is great. And the cool thing about this, the way I do these are is I put, uh, what does they call that? Uh, backing? Not really a backing because it's on top. Uh, top shot. Top shot's what they call that where I've got a good, I don't know, 20 yards of this monofilament that's on top of the braid. And the cool thing is about that, when I'm really trying to cast this and get some good distance out of it, if you're not careful, that braid, when it's in your finger here, when you're casting the spinning reel, will cut the shit out of your finger. Monofilament, not nearly as bad at that. And the braid on there is only 30 pound test. The leader is 50 pounds. So I can really put some good pressure on this without worrying about cutting my finger or breaking off a line, trying to get some distance with a good three or four ounce weight on there. But let's see, I'll pull this off of here. Like I said, it's just a top shot of monofilament leader, which probably needs change because me and JD were looking at this right before we started shooting this video. I got some pretty good nicks in this thing, but mm. But it was running through a river, which is known yeah. for <laughs> deadhead logs, all the current moving your stuff around, stuff smacking into your line. I mean, was this the one that caught the bass boat? I thought it was this An one. Indian Lake? Yeah. No, that's the bigger surf rod. That's the 12 footer. Oh. With the pen reel which we'll get to in another video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just uh, attached my uh, monofilament later to the braid using a FG knot. And maybe in a later video, I will show how I tie this knot. I kind of found it uh, surfing through some uh, uh, saltwater surf videos. He's uh, definitely gonna show it in a later video. <laughs> We're gonna go over all of the knots we tie the rigs we run, everything. But before you, uh, you know, if you wanna learn how to tie this knot before the video comes out, there's tons of videos, multiple different ways and techniques on how to tie the FG knot, but it uh, it's real good. It goes through all the eyelets. I can't even feel it when I cast. It goes through seamlessly. Um, it's a great knot. I love it. And I, I used to use the uni to uni knot to attach my monofilament to the braid. But after I found this FG knot, it's a little bit more of a pain in the ass to tie. But it is a strong knot. I have had this thing snagged and everything else. And this knot has held up. Like I said, this is the original monofilament leader that I put on this three years ago. And it is, this is Cast King brand. 50 pound this shit is stout i'm telling you what like i said i've gotten hung up uh that one time at clark lake a couple of years ago i got hung on a, a log or something you just see the tree going under the water i uh i wrapped my hand around the spool and just started walking backwards and my rig actually ended up busting before the line did and i'll actually show you guys the spool of the uh leader material that I bought. So guys, this is the Cast King monofilament leader material. It's designed for saltwater fishing, but we use it for catfishing and it works great. JD uses Amazing it. Amazing leader it. material. I cannot stress that enough. This shit is legit. I've caught every single catfish, well, with the cursed rod, bass, <laughs> everything on this leader material and i have never had a single problem with it it's 50 pound test it goes up to i think you can get it clear up to 150. uh the 50 pound is the largest size that comes on this nifty little spool that it comes on once you get above 50 it actually comes uh coiled up in a baggie which i took mine out of the baggie and put it in a big ziploc baggie 
uh, the bag sucked, I'll say. But uh, the material's good. I've got the 100-pound stuff. It's even, it's like weed eater cord. I mean, that shit's unbreakable. Um, but 50-pound, I bought them both together just to try it out and love it. And uh, pretty much all you do, once you get it, pop this outer ring off and get your line started out. And they put this slit here in the side of the spool to keep the mono leader in there. And that is one thing that I am glad they did because there are a couple of different companies out there that make line that don't do that for their leader material. I know we use that Berkeley Big Game stuff also that, as a leader. As, as well, a Berkeley leader. doesn't have that either. We had no, to use just tape. basic. And our one thing of tape has lasted like Yeah, four one years. little piece of... I'll show you that. <laughs> One little square of white tape that they put on there. I have the spool in there. But anyway, <laughs> like you buy your Berkeley. Ah, fuck it. We'll just. <sighs> you buy your Berkeley uh, big game spools and they come with a little white sticker. It's it's pretty good actually for as long as this lasts. I got a couple spools that's been going for a couple years to keep your line on there. But this, this that's is great. That's attention to detail. I love it. You, you just. Pop out of there, pull out however much you need, and then get it back in there, pop it in the slot, cut your line off, and you're good to go. As for rewinding the line back under, you gotta pop it out. But how often do you really put line back on the spool? I ain't got no complaints with it. No. I think it's amazing. It's good shit. It was about 10 bucks, I think. But uh, it, this shit's bulletproof, I'm telling you what. It's great. Casting, monofilament leader. Um, now, for those of us, because I've never used one of these fandangled, awesome bait and run reels, does it cast similar to like a regular open bale or? Yeah, it casts just like your regular spinning reel. Um, and so you can set like the distance you want to cast. Is there like a notch on here that you can set your line on so you can cast to that spot every time? That's actually, yeah, it does have one of those on there. It's oh, right shit, here. It does. <laughs> but that's not what that's actually for. I've seen reels where those things have been completely torn off, and it's because people think that's what that's for. Oh is to cast the same spot on a smaller reel you could probably do it when you're not slinging much weight but on a bigger reel like this when you're slinging some weight and getting some big baits out there do not use this to stop your line it will rip this clean out of the spool because it's only plastic or it'll cut your line right there that is meant to be a line keeper when you store your reel away for whatever to keep it from unspooling off the spool that is what that's for the more you know folks <laughs> But, uh, like I said, three years on the reel, and I have beat the hell out of this thing. It still works like it did the day I bought it out of the box. Uh, it's got a little rash on it here and there. Works great. It's uh, anodized blue and black, uh, aluminum spool. Um, it's got a composite body on it, but again, like I said, I've beat the hell out of this thing. Not a single crack or anything in it. The handle does collapse loosen this up a little bit it's one thing i like about it is the handle will actually collapse back behind it for if you want to compact the storage and i've noticed on your rod itself that both of the rings here look to be like stainless yes these are this is the okuma longitude nine foot uh medium heavy action casting rod that will cast anywhere from three to six ounces 20 to 40 pound line um it, this is actually a surf rod. It's meant for salt water, but the stores around here in Ohio do not carry uh, long rods unless you go to like Cabela's or something like it. Even then, you ended up buying a pen, like a pen. Uh, what is that? Can't remember the name of the rod. It's a lot of pen rods that the catfish guys use. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, they're good rods, but they're a little pricey. This was sixty bucks off of Amazon. It's a nine foot. It's got some cool logos. It's got the normal Akuma polar bear logo on it. Um, casts like a dream. It's got a great action to it. It's sensitive when you need it to be, but it's got some good backbone in it. 
I'll spin her around. Unlike the cast king rods, it does not have, it is a two piece rod, so it does fold up. Does not have the bright green tip. Like I said, it's a surf rod, so it's not meant for night fishing really, but it's, it's great for night fishing as usual. Zip tie with a glow stick. Works great, you slide down the rod a little bit, releases tension, slide back up, you're good to go. Um, I'm not sure, I don't know if the eyes are made by Fuji, I think they are, but I'm not quite certain, so don't quote me on that, but uh, I've been casting reel and braid in for three years, no notches and eyelets from where it's cut through or anything, so it is uh, compatible with braid, but uh, good stout rod two-piecer um yeah so oh yeah just show you guys there's the uh the one big nick that's gonna be kind of hard to uh let's see here let's see if i can get it lit up first get the light out here this is the first major nick that i have seen in this line and this is like i said three years of use and it's still let's see if i can put some tension on her here I'm yanking on that pretty good and with a yeah. nice nick in there it's still dependable so I don't good know job, if that's Cass gonna King. show up but good job Cass King that's uh he made some good shit there um yeah give you an idea on what I'm slinging with this nine foot spinning rod and I'm throwing a five ounce weight no roll sinker plus whatever the weight of the bait is which is usually i think that's a uh, five or a six aught circle hook and i probably either got a, a shad head or a bluegill or something or big baits and this thing handles it great it's got good backbone casts a mile so there you go guys that's the uh gear for this rod and i've got other surf rods and other gear we'll be showing in the videos all right guys thanks for watching uh, make sure you keep them hooked deep and wet. Hit the subscribe button, motherfuckers. <laughs>